everybody. So today we're going to try a Dogfish Head 60 minute IPA. Now this is 6% ABV. <clears throat> this bottle is from November 21. So exactly two years old from bottle date. So I'm, my rating isn't really going to matter. But um, I was given this and I said, let's go ahead and do it and see how it is. It, there is a lot of carbonation. I think before I started the video, I was looking for the date. Um, so maybe because I was going up and down with it. Um, <clears throat> but there is a D number. I don't think it means anything because it does have to November of 2021. And I did look it up on Untapped. I've never reviewed this. I've had this. So I will have to get a fresh bottle to review if this is bad. But I'm going to score it. I didn't see the untapped scores. <clears throat> um, but just see how it's aged over two years. Off-white colored head, pretty small. Not even a quarter finger of head. Um, it has a lot of like sediment, small particles in it. Like a light orange hazy like medium haze like I can make out the light box but I can't see like the bell sign or the posters on that wall you guys are seeing more like a burnt orange than what I am but it is what it is let's see how this thing smells I get like a malty orange, like a malty sweet orange out of this with a little bit of rind bitterness. But I think that maltiness is sticking out the most. Um, just like in my home brews, I age them a year to two years just to see how they're doing. It kind of has that smell, but I can say like that orange, that, that citrus orange is more potent still in this even after two years <clears throat> maybe they're using I know what is it like um, for a hundred and twenty minute they put in hops every minute a, a batch of hops every minute I don't know if they do the same thing with 60 minute or not But yeah, that multi sweetness is there, followed by that that sweeter orange and a little bit of rind. Let's go ahead and taste. Definitely malt forward, uh, malt bitterness, malt sweet bitterness is definitely what I'm picking up. Um, maltiness on the aftertaste, maybe a touch of honey, like honey bitterness on the aftertaste. Like it seems like that bitterness is up there or still up there. I'm going to say the hops have fallen off just because I, I don't remember 60 minute being that malty. Like, the maltiness is there. It seems like there's citrus bitterness, citrus rind bitterness there. But I, I, I'm not exactly sure it should taste like that. Or I don't remember. It's been, I probably haven't had 60 minute in at least three years. Um, but it's still not bad. I would say for this, I would go 3.5. Um, I'm not going to rate it on untapped uh, just because when I looked up um, the bottle, it just says 60 minute. So I don't want to throw the scores off. Um, even if I put, oh, this is a 21 bottle or whatever. But I would go 3.5. It seems like that bitterness is, is still there. But I, I don't remember it having that much maltiness. Almost to a... a like a 7.5 double IPA, very light malt. But there's a lot more sweetness in this one. Let, let's just check untapped. Uh, my friends have checked this in 109 times, 
almost 400,000 people, 3.84. It's a, obviously carbonate. Wow. Um, more than 60 hop addition. Okay, so they do do that in 60 minute also. I don't know why I was thinking they didn't. Um, but yeah, more than 60 hop additions over the 60 minute boil. Um, hoppy, smooth, light, sweet, malty. Um, that's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, um, East Coast IPA with a lot of citrusy hops. So I wonder if it really hasn't fallen off that much. It has to. Like, the, I don't, that multi sweetness is a little bit more, I think, than what they're saying. Uh, what's the bitterness? 60 I've used, Don. Uh. Huh. Let's see if we can find some comments. Just to see. Um, of course, nobody said anything. Hoppy Bitter. Classic old school. Yeah, I would say, if anything, yeah, because earthy, multi pine. I, I, I don't get earthy, I don't get pine. I'm sure there's some in there. Uh, no jinx in 21. Wow. So a lot of my friends haven't had this recently. Um, smooth and balance, uh, 3.75. So I think a 3.5, I would say it's still pretty good. It's drinkable. Would I buy it if I went to a store? And I pick and I saw that it was a twenty one bottle. Uh, would I pick it up? No. Uh, but it seems like it's held up over two years. Not too shabby. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some more over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.